Hey Collective, Vita here back with another reading. Let's see what's happening. What do the guides want you to be aware of? Okay. Disruption just came out and we have Firm Foundation at the bottom followed by solitude trapped in fear temptation so just off the top this feels like the energy as of the past few readings someone sees you in solitude spending a lot of time to yourself they know they need to go into solitude for themselves to help them resist temptation. They rather not. What they rather do is come to you and disrupt your peace. But I'll leave that card there and use some other decks and see what else I can glean from this energy disruption. This person could be going through some disruptions. You could have recently experienced a disruption to something, a plan, perhaps that you thought was clad iron. Always remember, everything happens as it should under God's will, and any disruptions are a part of your learning experience, training, if you will. Disruption. Why is disruption here? Oh, goodness. Addicted. Uh, <laughs> fragmentation. I won't cry for you. Okay, well. All right. There is an addicted energy someone who is suffering from addictions and one of those addictions is watching you very closely desiring to come into your life under the guise of friendship in order to get you back in their good graces at which point they will try to penetrate your peace in a way that has not been done before. This person, for whatever reason, is very much interested in trying to break you down all the way to your core. They're fragmented. Their mind is in bits and pieces, possibly due to, to addictions. Maybe they're indulging in substance that has a tendency to do just that to the brain. Hmm. All right, well, let's get another card. Addiction, disruption, addicted to chaos, causing chaos, atonement. They feel that the disruptions that they've had in their life as of recently are a direct result of you and they want you to feel their pain anger and chains they feel bound bound to their anger they feel bound to wanting to get near you they can't escape this fragmentation of they can't put themselves back together <sighs> revenge what did i say oh my god this is this is ridiculous. This person wants revenge on you, collective. Okay, okay. let's just keep going. Disruption. We'll clarify this with the Kipper. Disruption. Message of concern. So they're definitely going through some serious, um, all sorts of things. Let's just say that legal, financial, personal, romantic, the whole, the whole thing. Expectation, change. They're seeking change. They want to seek. Oh man. 
lovers, imprisonment, occupation, house, pathway, main female, gift, bad health. This person wants to cause you pain. There's absolutely no other way to read this energy. I can feel it. And this is so not cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. This has to be, this person must be in the process of overindulging and the animosity, the acrimony, oh, I can't speak, the Whatever they've got going against you is only being heightened by this substance abuse. <sighs> Expectation change. They want change. They want to change lovers. They want to put you in a cage. They're very much occupied with that. They could have lost their job, their house. Not clear on their pathway to get to you. They want to give you the gift of bad health. Then we've got great fortune, false person despair official person so they're in bad health they want to give you the gift of bad health so they could want to transfer some sort of disease to you and I'll just leave that there without becoming too descriptive but you can use your imagination resist temptation Although I don't really feel like there's much this energy has that would tempt you towards them. Addicted. Courtship. Family room. Wealthy man. Toil and labor. Sudden wealth. Thoughts. Mature woman, mature man, main male, privileged lady. So this is going back to that family that a masculine married into some sort of wealth. And it also is tying into a new love interest coming toward you in the near future. Huh. Courtship and addicted. Let's see. Hold on. Courtship, clarifying, addicted. We you know from other readings there's a spouse that is addicted to some substances too. Latest news story is a false flag. Courtship. Don't trust those who fake it till they make it. So this is a person from your past that went on to uh, marry or have some sort of relationship with someone else. People are finding out it was a fake relationship, fake courtship. That could be this disruption here, in fact. get a card for actually let's go back to the kipper atonement yep main female courthouse distant horizons concern community adjudication poverty coffin so there's Definitely a couple of ways to read this. The uh, divine feminines, feminines have not really been showing up as the main female simply because the DFs have been somewhat removed from any sort of theatrics involving the masculine's escapades, if you will, but because he's so focused on you you're showing up as the main female or not let me just get one more card for this to see main female atonement yeah this is you see you deserve real soul love and we'll have it you're not taking any more knives in your back yep 
your mental strength comes from the underworld. Your physical healing comes from above. And this strength that you carry spiritually, physically, mentally is what is contributing greatly to this person wanting to harm you because they've been able to get over on everyone else in their surroundings, but they have not been able to beat you. And that's where their focus is. But you know you deserve real love and you know that you will have it. You can feel it coming toward you. And so you continue to head where you're headed. You already know where you're going. You've seen the vision. You've had the vision. You maintain the vision of your future, which is beautiful. <sighs> okay. Message of concern. <laughs> Their names are Susan, Thomas, Alistair, Maven, Henry, Tori, or Troy. Don't have to be necessarily. The initials could be S-T-A-A-M-H-T or T. You've shown me what love, what life is and what life isn't. Thank you, my love. So this person wants to come and uh, at, at a minimum tell you that they love you. And there's no doubt that they don't love you. They do love you. But love and being able and capable of treating someone respectfully without wanting to stuff them in a casket, you know, that's not necessarily the type of love that you want or deserve. So, all right. Let's just put these cards up and... Let's end this reading with a little bit of Tarot. Message of concern. Nine of Cups. So, ooh, Five of Cups. So, Let's just look at this as a group of people here, right, that this person has gone off with and overindulged and maybe has picked up a lot of uh, interesting traits, added a lot of interesting characteristics to their already interesting personality, which is an addictive one. So let's just say they're still involved with this group of people. There is a lot of drinking that's going on, a lot of bedtime story escapades, swapping in and out, that sort of thing. And with that comes a lot of regret and the feeling of drowning in their own disgust. So this person is very much disgusted with themselves and their indulgences, but they can't change. They're stuck in the tunnel. This person is stuck in the tunnel of darkness. Courtship, latest big news story is a false flag. And this could apply to whatever news you might be drawn to more than likely is false, but let's keep going. <laughs> Ace of Swords, clarifying. <laughs> Ace of Swords, clarifying. Latest big news story is a false flag. And look at the color synchronicities. So people know the truth. They can't be tricked. So whatever these, this group, this person has up their sleeve, whatever new lies or storyline they've come up with, people already see straight through it. So, and then we have universe at the bottom, followed by Aeon, realization, 
Queen of Swords, Subversion, Four of Wands, Delight, the Moon. <sighs> so the other thing could be that this past person is telling people that you're in a relationship. That you've gotten back together, you're in a relationship, and people aren't buying that story. That for some of you, for sure, this person is saying that he's, he or she is back to dating you, that you're a couple, you're an item. Or this person has determined that they are going to win you back and they're telling people. Yep. Oh, yeah, for real. Look, universe and queen of swords. Four of Wands, Moon, which could be very much delusion, Eight of Pentacles, working together, Hierophant, Emperor, Ten of Wands, Suspension, Eight of Wands, Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, the Fool. Yeah, he, this, this person definitely is convinced that, that they're getting you back, that you'll be back together. And it's only a matter of time. And they've told people. Yep. You deserve real soul love. And we'll have it. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, ooh. Page of Swords. I told you. Watching. Watching. Watching everything you do. Strength. Once this strength that you have. You're getting stronger, and it is this person who is connected to you, a counterpart, can feel, maybe that's what it is. They can feel your energy and your strength increasing, and it might have them in a bit of some sort of uh, panic. Like, they feel if you get any stronger, then no, they won't have any chance of getting near you again but if they can get to you now and disrupt your growth before you reach that next level that next layer of consciousness then they've got a chance they've got a chance to reverse this karma close the distance they're very concerned about closing the distance between the two of you mm-hmm Page of Swords, and they could have received some sort of information. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Four of Pentacles. And there's also a feminine that's not letting go of something. Knight of Cups, Six of Cups, someone that could be from your past, a feminine energy that was very much involved in whatever betrayals or shenanigans we've got that show up in some of these readings. We know that there's a few karmic feminines not directly linked in a romantic nature to the masculine, but has somehow partaken in the gossip and the lies and the slander against you. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Anything else? Huh. Yeah, let's close. Well, yeah, okay. We'll go here. I really, really like this deck, Earth and Bone Oracle. It's very nice. Final messages, please and thank you, Spirit. It's a lot. One, two, three. I'm going to put these back. I did see roots. Let's just see. Okay. Shelter. Yep. Shelter. Spiritual growth, revival, accountability, healing. This really does coincide with this strength card here and what I was saying. This person knows that you know what you deserve and you're not going to accept anything less and maybe they feel like they can cloak themselves, shape shift, or 
they still have enough strength to alter their inauthenticity to a, a, a level where you might not fully recognize just how deep and dark they've gone, how low they've sunk into the pit, if you will. They're very greasy. This person's very greasy. They want to wash off with your energy. And they feel you have enough of it to share. If, Like you've grown so much. They feel like all the work that you've done to get where you are, that you can share it with them. <sighs> what? Are you serious? Yeah. Peaceful, harmonious, receptiveness, manifestation. They see you alone and they really are jealous of your comfortability with yourself. And they, and you're the person, you love yourself. You're, this is weird. This is going to sound, this is kind of, I can't even, but they're not just jealous of you but they're jealous of the love that you have for yourself because it's something that they can't, it's not tangible. Tang yeah, they can't separate you from yourself. And that's what they want to do. But they can't. Because they're relying on your strength to get strong. So destroying you would leave them with no access to getting better themselves. However, because they're stuck in a little bit of, or a lot of bit of delusion. So this is what they're back and forth with. If how to get back to you and if they should keep you in one piece. Ooh, I don't know. This just got way, way weirder than I thought it could. One last card. One last card. And I'm gonna go finish watching my movie. Ooh, okay, well, two came out. Three. Woo! Rider, movement, quick decisions, progress, excitement. And that's the other thing. This person gets some sort of humongous charge watching you, thinking about you. They're very much stimulated still by your energy despite the distance between you. Enchanter, self-evaluation, awakening, purpose, independence, confidence. They don't like this about you at all. Serpent, rebirth, nonconformity, new approaches, un unconventionality, right? So they're trying to come up with a new, a new way to get to you. But they know that that's difficult because you two are a shapeshifter. So while they could be coming to you running one game, you've already ran that game. And you've got another game that they're not privy to because you're a trickster. A much more clever trickster and shapeshifter than they are. Which really makes them mad. So, all right. Whew. The battle of the mirror souls continues. And I will see you guys soon in another video. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Enjoy your uh, holiday weekend.